exercises they started out with some single hand notes where they were playing them all kind of even then they started to add some kind of height stuff so they're primarily thinking about their heights and their dynamics then they had some timing exercises where they're trying to get the rhythm usually based off of combinations of one and two three strokes which is good for their flam taps later uh, then they got some triplet roll exercises and some other drag where they're trying to learn interpretation they also have uh, some flam exercises that I want to do. And I think the most important thing about, about what I think could help them in the future is, is to actually add a lot more variations of, of what they've got. A lot of this stuff tends to be kind of in an easy pocket. Like, they're like right here. So this is like a nice comfy, comfy thing. But then when they do their music, their tempo is actually here. They're like in the 160s. So what happens is they get locked into this kind of triplet roll feel at that speed. And then I think sometimes when you hear the music, they'll, they'll start to drag right away because their mind's already set at a certain tempo. So I would definitely recommend uh, more of these type of exercises, but a lot more different uh, time signatures and a lot of other stuff, and also at a lot, a lot more different uh, speeds. Uh, not that it's going to necessarily apply to the show that they're doing this year, but this isn't the only show that they're ever going to do in their life. So. Sometimes when you're only working on eight minutes of music, you can't get everything in there that you have to work on. So you have to sort of try to work it into your training program so that maybe next year when you do a, a different chart, you say, oh, I can handle that, it's all cool. So I'm just throwing that out. I think, uh, I think what they're doing is really cool though. How about this flam exercise? This is basically using flam accents and flam taps as best I remember. <laughs> So what's happening is that's kind of the same speed that they, if, if you think of it like that, that's the same speed that they were running all their triplet roll exercises to. So now we start to think, or so um, I have to relate back to the fact that I think that they should try to pick this up a lot so that they can challenge themselves because their music's so much faster. 
I'm not sure if the Malice could play it faster, but I think you probably could. Can't you? Okay. Well, then you probably will. <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't going to play it right now because nobody wants to hear that. We're already burned on that. Drummers, <laughs> drummers have a really short attention span. It's just like, what do you got for me next, bro? Because I ain't buying it. Okay, what do you have for me next? Are, are we ready for uh, maybe the little quad ditty by themselves? Okay, who's not a drummer and doesn't know anything about drums other than me? Okay, well then we don't care. <laughs> There's not enough of you, so I don't have to talk about the instruments. But I can tell you one thing, uh, the pit only has a couple new people in it, and uh, their warm-ups as far as their independence and their techniques, like, pretty good, and, and it really does apply to their music a lot. So I want you to not, uh, if you're a drummer, don't keep looking at the batter, because the pit has... Has, has a good sound, and since there's a lot of them, do you guys use mics or, or are you all acoustic? We're all acoustic. Some, some folks use mics. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, because I mean, it seems like you have enough people to do it. And the drum line's fairly sensitive as far as the dynamics go, so they cut the pit a lot uh, of breaks so that you can hear them. Also, uh, the writing allows for the pit to come through in the music. They, they have space where they aren't getting gobbled up by the drum line, and uh, that'll change the. <laughs> but, uh, once the show starts, but uh, the, I think the I think the coolest thing about uh, getting to the music is is, is uh, they have have some features worked into the show. But my feeling on it is is I always wanted them to have a little bit more attitude after they played their feature. Now I, I had a little private rap with them and told them that you know what, you guys here's your solo. It's like what I mean like. I want you guys, to, like at the end of some feature, to be standing up and screaming and going crazy, throwing babies over the top of the thing and all that kind of junk. But they have to learn how to try to emote, and this group's really, really subdued, right? My suggestion was taking a trip to Tijuana or go down to New Mexico for like, like a week, and then they'd come back different, but probably not. <laughs> so instead, we're just going to try to get them to juice it up a little bit. So here comes the quad feature, add the juice. No, the one that they know, I think, I think so, whatever they know, I don't even know. There was one that, yeah, no, I think it's an exercise one that had one. <laughs> I can't be totally polite, I have to have a little dig.